17 years ago, I handed in my final exam at the University of Toronto, left campus, and never looked back. Until a month ago. I was visiting a friend and decided to go on a walk down memory lane. I went by the athletic center where I would play basketball or work out nearly every day, by the penthouse, our top floor apartment, where my two roommates and I would have competitions on who could catch the most mice. And just along all the paths that I used to race along from class to class, slipping and sliding and sloshing in Toronto's nasty, disgusting winters. Little did I know that when I went before I went on this walk, that I was entering one of those tri- time traveling vortexes, you know, and and the, that travels me back in time. And it, it put me back into the mind and body of, maybe not body, of me when I was 21 years old. I really re-felt like I was a student again. It was amazing. It was a huge wash of nostalgia, like just amazingly emotional. And then about after an hour of that, just nostalgia bath, uh, the high wore off and I returned to reality and realized that that was almost half a lifetime ago. And then I started fantasizing about traveling back to watch some NFL games with my friends, to play some pickup basketball, to sit in microeconomics class with Brian, ogling the cute microeconomics professor who, come to think of it, is younger than, or was younger than I am now. Yikes. But that's, the thing is that if I could go back and relive those moments just for a little bit, I would, I would savor them like that last scoop of Dairy Queen blizzard that I would eat before traveling back to Geneva, Switzerland, where there is no Dairy Queen. Just suck every little last bite of it. A 10 out of 10 pleasure, pleasurable moment. My question is, did I enjoy it that much, those moments back then, that much when I was 21? Well, I'm not going to lie. and I did enjoy them quite a lot. I've always been a pretty good-natured guy, but certainly not 10 out of 10. And why is that? Well, it's the whole you don't know what you got till it's gone thing, right? Well, that's kind of dumb, actually, because I do, you sh- you, I do know what I, you got till it's gone. <laughs> 16 years from now or 17 years from now, when I return to here in Kitsilano and maybe take a similar walk down memory lane, I know exactly what it is that's going to, that I'm going to be super nostalgic about. I'm going to be nostalgic about playing volleyball with my friends, about going to the playground with my th- one and three year old boys and playing with them and making sure that they don't fall off of something and hurt themselves about going way over there to the calisthenics area and being able to do all sorts of crazy moves and dunk a basketball i know that 16 17 years from now i'm going to be extremely nostalgic about that so what does it take to save those moments like the last scoop of a dairy queen ice cream blizzard right now to enjoy the present as much as my future self would if they could come back and return to enjoy these moments thinking about it helps for sure. Even just saying it right now makes me glad to be here making this stupid video, something that I'm sure I'll be nostalgic about 17 years ago when I watch this. But I don't want to have to rely on some gratitude journal prompt or some waking up app guidance, right? I want to make it hardwired into my brain to just know, to feel the enjoyment all the time. So how do I, so to speak, strap my 17 year old older self or nine year old self to my shoulder that little angel to whisper on my ear hey chris i'm super jealous enjoy this while it lasts well step one i think is to give it a silly name (laughs) unique names give fluffy concepts an identity and they make them seem real concrete and though they make it actionable and something that you can work towards so in my case I call this concept of enjoying present moments that you're going to be nostalgic about later, prostalgia, you know, pre-nostalgia, prostalgia. Steps two through 2,463,242 are to work on broadening your perspective of life. To zoom out on your sort of temporal timeline, kind of like you're zooming out to view, uh, to edit a movie and see the whole thing at once, so that you can appreciate more clearly what matters, what doesn't, and what what is worth savoring. 
So how do you beef up these zoom out muscles? Well, training to regularly zoom in and out until it becomes second nature. My training regimen is to write letters to my future self every month and every year, to read those letters, to occasionally look back on the daily logs that I do day in and day out, I've been doing for nine straight years, and to do weekly, monthly, and yearly reviews. These practices strengthen my bond with my future selves and sort of ingrain the habit in my brain of having them on my shoulder telling me, hey, Chris, enjoy this moment. I've been doing this for nine years and I can pretty confidently say that this prostalgia goes a long way to explaining why I enjoy my life and in such a good mood pretty much every day despite my professional unsuccess and lack of YouTube views, for example. It's because... I'm enjoying this moment. I know that in the future, I'm, I'm feeling my future self on me saying, hey, Chris, enjoy it. Even though no one else is enjoying it, you enjoy it. So successful, Chris, if you are watching this right now, here's my message to you. Man and a boo-boo, you can't be me, sucker. But don't get me wrong. Prostalgia is not about becoming some eternally living in the moment, nostalgia overdosing hippie. It's about putting your future selves in a great place where they have a lot to be nostalgic about and also a lot that they can be prostalgic about too. So they can be doing cool things too that their future selves will be nostalgic about. The good news is that I think it's possible to enjoy your cake, your nostalgic cake or prostalgic cake and bake some nostalgic cake too while you're at it. It's just a matter of training. It's a matter of zooming in and out in time, in perspective, and forward and back in time to gain that broader picture, that broader screen of view of your life and appreciate to appreciate what's really important and to enjoy it while it lasts. So my challenge to you is to, first of all, think about today, what is something that you're going to be nostalgic about in the future and enjoy it now, be nostalgic. And then think, what can I do to make my future self even more jealous about the position that I'm in right now? Also, what are you wasting your time on that your future self is not going to be nostalgic about whatsoever? Get rid of that and replace it with something they'll be nostalgic about. And maybe most importantly, what's a practice that you can implement to take this prostalgia from just a simple concept to making it not just a habit, but something that's truly ingrained in your brain so you just feel it without even having to think about it and truly just mainline nostalgia in your, in your bloodstream.